Hello guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to one of my favorite countries in the world. Let's talk a little bit about uh, why Panama is a hidden gem and one of the best countries for living and retirement in the world. You can have a very fancy lifestyle in Panama for much less uh, money than in the United States. For example, we rented this condo with infinity pool for less than 100 bucks per day. And that Airbnb, if you rent it by monthly, it would be much cheaper. It's very beautiful. It's surrounded by Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean from both sides. You can see we stayed at this hotel and it cost us again less than 100 bucks per day with breakfast included. Very nice hotel. If you want to buy something in Panama, for example, this is Coronado area it's going to cost you much cheaper than you would pay in United States as well. Although it's very hot uh, in the Panama City and uh, beaches, however, if you like a nice climate, you can always move uh, to the mountain like El Valle and Buqueta, very nice small towns with a temperature 70 72 degrees year round the panama is also a super safe country we walk there at night in the evening multiple times with kids and we never felt unsafe you can see those beautiful sceneries uh, and mountains in the panama they grow local, uh, local local vegetables and fruits, which is pretty cool. You can buy them on the local markets. Panamanians in general are very nice and welcoming people as well. Fishing is incredible over there. I went to Panama for fishing, for kayak fishing, and you can see this rooster fish we caught from a kayak and a uh, big uh, broomtail grouper as well. I've never spear fish in Panama, but I definitely want to try. The fish is definitely there. People shoot yellowfin tuna, big kubera, broomtail grouper, you name it. And there are not too many spear fishermen, so it creates opportunity. There are a lot of outdoor activities you can try in Panama. One of the coolest one you can go to with kids is uh, definitely a trip to a monkey island from Panama City. It's very inexpensive uh, compared to other trips. And you can see Panama Canal and those huge ships over there. So over here you can see we are approaching the island and you can see white face monkey already are waiting for us. They are ready to get some food. If you decide to go there, it's definitely better to go in the morning. So you can see more monkeys and uh, uh, be ahead of other tourists. Because if other tourists come before you, the monkey are not going to be hungry and may not come toward you. And they also want to rest during the day. So come in the morning, early in the morning. Also, I can tell you, uh, Panama is very hot country, especially Panama City, Coronado Beach area. So the temperature often there like in 90s. If you prefer colder climate, it's probably better to live uh, in uh, the mountains such as Buquet or El Valley areas. You can see those monkeys are pretty cool. 
They come to you and kids uh, were so excited to feed them. We got another passenger. <laughs> After we finish this white faced monkey, we move to another island to saw other type of monkeys called Kiki in Panama, but they also known as tamarind monkeys. They are small and unfortunately other monkeys sometimes eat them. So they're usually more cautious. And they are pretty much vegetarians. Over here you see the third type of most common monkeys in Panama called holer monkeys. Those are the largest monkeys you usually see over there. They are usually more cautious and don't come too close to people. They also very territorial and they make very loud sounds. <laughs> oh, I see the male. That's the alpha. That's the alpha? Mm -hmm. You can hear the sound now. <laughs> now this is the funniest guy of the trip. This is the brother of the